Welcome to my channel. This is Sam, and I'm playing Starfield. So we got captured after we killed that guy. So I have to do some work for them, I guess. Because if I don't do it. a lot of time so I need you to listen up while you're working undercover it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible if you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating you bring it to me is that understood you better make it because commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Haven't you been paying attention? Our goal here is the complete eradication of the Crimson Fleet. In order to do that, we need to dismantle them piece by piece from within. If you bring me evidence, we can make arrests and slowly drain the resources. Think of it as a death by a thousand tiny cuts. You're damn right I do. That minor skirmish you have with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you can understand why I'm pushing you so hard. What? No, it's personal has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. Okay, so she's a tough nut. I was hoping that you'd be inspired into thinking this is more than a punishment. It appears that I was wrong. I suppose we'll simply have to motivate you in a different way. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. As compensation for your efforts. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. See? We're also providing <laughs> a sample you can use to tease the, the goods. AI has something we've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Now 
I can get out of this place. We'll be keeping them close at hand until this operation is complete. So, we'll be holding them in the Vigilance's brig. If you're feeling particularly ruthless, you could always head down there and say hello. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to see you. Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC Security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. <sighs> yeah. Maybe... No. No, it, it's not really an appropriate time to be going over my private life. See, there I are tried. much more important things to be done. Let's just stick Let's to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. Ones. But, uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? I'll be here if you have any more questions. This will go away or will this will these things still be there? I don't know man. Howdy. How did you directly connect to my ship, man? Oh, fuck. These guys have docked my sh spaceship just. spaceship I land at UC Vigilance and when I go and go, place, go out of this place I directly go to my ship so I cannot do those missions now I have to go where I am supposed to go Oh, you're 
fight. Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. <coughs> oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect it. 
Now you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult to gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, come on, mate. It's perfectly safe. We're miles away, so all we get is a little jiggle now. Just make sure to hold the railing when going downstairs and you'll be fine. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless, maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. I'm getting there. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some ore. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. The Trackers Alliance can always use more bounty hunters to round up and kill wanted criminals. If that feels like your speed, talk to me, or check out our posts on the mission boards. Oh, totally. We're the baddest bounty hunters in the settled systems. People pay us to find criminals, scum, and other low lives when they don't want to or can't track them down themselves. Should I tell you? Ah, what the hell. It got me in trouble, but it's a good story. So, I got a bounty for this guy. Real tough spacer, you know? I find a ship, bored without him knowing, and I literally catch him with his pants down, getting ready for the day or something, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, before he can react, I tackle him to the ground and cuff him, and he lets off a sly quip, thinking he's got game, but I don't take kindly to that kind of advance. See? And well, Bounty says, alive or dead, so I make the call and I put him down. Oh. Anyway, turns out it wasn't the right guy, but this guy was also wanted. What are the odds, right? Well, the Alliance didn't think it was as funny as I did, so now I'm stuck here helping new recruits. Good. If you recall, I'm only stationed here because of a mistake I made been bugging me ever since the bounty that got away. Now, I heard rumors that this no-good, dirty quarry's been lurking around Mars, but I ain't had the good fortune of him strolling on in here. I think he's smart enough to know better. I got a plan in place to find him, but I gotta prove to my other tracker contact that he's here. That's where you come in. Just gotta plan a sensor. No danger to you. Ken Plakis, smuggler, the worst kind. Ken Deals in Plakis. all sorts of black market goods. He's wanted for grand theft, human trafficking, murder, you name it. 
He's also extremely good at what he does. He's eluded the best of UC security for years. He's even slipped by our own trackers, myself included. I'm convinced he set me up to fail, failed to look a lot to unwittingly take a fall, made me look bad. So I'm sure you understand it's kind of personal. Hell no! If I wanted you to do that, I'd be asking you to do that. Now, I got a good friend, tracker buddy who stuck by me through and through. Gonna split the hall with him as soon as he brings the mark in. That ain't up for debate or negotiation. Under no circumstances are you to interact with my quarry, or you'll find yourself at the wrong end of a bounty. He doesn't know it, but he's got a chip in him with a unique ID. Part of the reason he's learned to keep out of the major cities and settlements. Tracker's always managed to find him when he comes to town, so he just stays away. But he's a slippery fella. That's why I want to send someone to catch him where he feels safe. Just along the outskirts. Sensors tuned to that ship. Makes sense now, don't it? Alright, so, you're gonna want to take this here sensor and put it way up at the tippy top of the old Mars launch pad tower, where it's nice and unobstructed. You're gonna want to make sure you've got a boost pack to help get yourself up there, or else it's gonna be a tough climb. Mars gravity's on the low side, but not that low. It'll track down my Mark's chip signal, assuming he shows, and I'll call in my partner to take care of him. Clear out and come back to me as soon as you're done so you don't spook the quarry. Get it? Got it? Good. Do your part to keep Sidonia graffiti free. First clip me. Sometimes, I wish I had taken a easier job. oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Right. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our Director of Mining Operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you 
as his assistant can get him to sign off on the approval. You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless without his assistant. I don't even know if he knows how to actually use a computer. And everything Deimos does is so mired in bureaucracy because of their contracts with the UC. Look, Which means, yeah. unfortunately, we so need to do all the things by the book and want uh, them done at all. Do some stuff on my own. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. Okay, then uh, first let me go to place the sensor.
is not that looks like a hand but not Sources here I have to find. I meant 
the stairs now. to get the jumpsuit Is that easy? Bornness, contusion, extremely solar radiation, suit protection depleted. Try. 
need to go up So this was a waste of time man. Okay. Let me check. Placing that sensor will need something more. So let's apply for this. this one afterwards Depleted extreme solar radiation. Placing the sensor is not that easy. Eh? She already told us I did not keep to that. I should have gone to some place and uh, bought some thrusters or something like that. We'll do that later.
see when you do this your health depletes when my uh, o2 is covered with co2 i have no oxygen my health depletes it was full a little bit earlier I don't need ship services now. some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Oh man, no, I'm still new here, <laughs> so I don't know how qualified I am to answer that. We're like this huge network of shipping and trade throughout the known universe. Everyone. Free stars, UC. Even Varun uses us in some capacity. Because I guess we're all about free trade for all. <laughs> Yo. I wouldn't be surprised if we bought and sold from the Crimson Fleet, right? They pay my salary, so as far as I'm concerned, they're all right in my book. Man, 
Sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that, because rumors, you know? All I know is that we're running a business here, and I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. <laughs> and listen, I'm not gonna worry about anything other than that. Yo! This dude came in once trying to sell this whack-looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything size too. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took in things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did, and I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it like right away. The hell's that about, right? Cool, that's what we do here. Selling those which I have more than two or more than one. Okay, I have twenty thousand credits now. Okay, so he doesn't. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Here's an idea. Why don't you shout that louder so everyone at UC Security hears? Either show me what you're trying to unload, or get the hell out of here. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hard to handle, though. What else you got? Oh, yeah. Well, I got some bad news for you, love. This location doesn't buy shit like that when you see security sitting a stone's throw from the front door. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You must be new at this game, love, so I'm gonna let that one slide. In our business, nothing gets done until money is exchanged. 
even if that means leaving a credit on each and every rung of the ladder as you climb your way up. A little short on cash there? I guess you'll have to look somewhere else for help. Or come back with the finder's fee. You bring me that finder's fee, or are you here to waste my time again? Sure, go ahead. You shoot me and the TA will have bounty hunters on your ass before you even get back to the spaceport. Listen, love, I've heard it all. Threats bounce right off. So either cough up the finder's fee or try and sell that shipment on your own. A little short on cash there? Why am... You bring me that finder's fee? Well then, we have nothing left to discuss, do we, love? Be seeing you soon. You bring me that finder's fee? Or are you here to waste my time again? Why can't they be? A little short on cash. Man, I sold so many things to this guy. Time. And ask him, hey, you looking for anything in particular? Sounds like a plan. Oh, oh that's vendor credits. Come back anytime. I think I can pay. You bring me that finder's. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. 
Welcome to the Sidonia Trigo. Keep our children safe. Keep them out of harm's way. Thank you from the Sidonia Department of Labor. Take any contraband and stolen property, and you'll be free to go. Here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Yeah, well, she isn't running the show here. I am. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. Probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame you. Either way, I bought that money back. <sighs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. No one said anything about killing. All I said was, I want my money. How you handle that is up to you. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' corners. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. Watching. 
building step okay it's already over one hour so we'll start from here thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe will be i'll be back with more exciting videos until then stay tuned and have a good day guys surgical tray genetic sample portal Fuck off. 